Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and uh, today we're going to be making a little video for you. But before we do, I thought I'd give you a view of the kids. We just uh, got done celebrating Christmas, and uh, it's been a tough year. As many of you know, my little boy had a cute lymphoblastic leukemia. He was diagnosed with that earlier this year and uh, as you can see he is doing really well my uh, wife ended up taking the year off to take care of him we spent something like close to 30 days and nights in the hospital with him and 2014 really hasn't been a great year for us but we're happy to report that uh, his progress is good and I know a lot of people have been asking about him and uh, several of my viewers have donated money uh, and that has helped us out without my wife working so we really appreciate that stuff and uh, we're wishing for a great 2015 which is approaching in about five days here so anyhow, thank you, and uh, we will now get to the video. So for today's project, we're going to be putting in a light occupancy sensor, and I already have one in this room, and it just, you see that LED that lit up, that just turned on that light. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting a switch like this that leads into the garage. Here's another one that I have in my house. I'm approaching the laundry room and you could be holding a basket and as you get into the room you'll see the light comes on. So it's really nice, it's really handy and uh, the main thing that I'm seeing with these sensors is that they always turn off the lights. So a lot of times people leave the lights on and it's wasting money. So in this case after whatever you set it to, I could have it on for two minutes, I could have it stay on for seven minutes, ten minutes, a half an hour, they're all adjustable. Uh, but anyhow, it'll turn off the light on its own. So here's the occupancy sensor that we're going to be working on today. As you can see, we have four switches here, and it's very difficult to determine which one is which, and we have them all labeled. But for people that don't live here, it's, it's difficult to know how to turn on the lights to the garage. So what we want is we want to open the door to the garage, and when we take our first step out, boom, that'll pop on the lights. So in order to do that, we need to put an occupancy sensor right here. So we're going to put a box in the wall on the garage side. That way when we step out, it'll automatically turn on the lights. I didn't want to do it on this side of the wall because then every time you walk into the laundry room you'll be turning on the garage lights. So the first step here is to loosen up the uh, plate, expose the outlets. Here's the switch we're working with and uh, you may already be able to tell it's a three-way switch which means there's two switches. There's one in the garage and there's one here that controls the light bulb. So what we're going to do is just mark up where these wires are and uh, then we're going to get working on our new outlet box. Alright guys, so here's what we have. I have the hole kind of roughed in. I cut into the insulation through it. Okay, luckily there's no wires um, going up to our box on the other side of the wall. They're all coming down, so that's nice. And uh, what we have to do is run a wire from inside the house down to this box. It's about an eight inch drop. I can't get my hand in here to grab the wire coming out the box and it's a really tight fit. So what I'm going to use is a snake and the snake that I'm using, uh, I've used these before. This is actually, um, you can see it's very flexible, bendy. It's uh, the main drive shaft on a weed whacker. Okay, so I'm just going to take this thing and I'm going to use it as a snake. It's about three foot long. I've used this for lots of electrical jobs. This stuff is awesome. 
I'll show you how it works. All right, guys, so I'm back inside. I knocked out the uh, knockout on the bottom here, and we're gonna feed our snake directly through. So the snake is just gonna go in here, and uh, the lighting's not great because I have the power turned off. We're just gonna go down, you know, roughly eight inches. We're in there now, and we should be able to grab that on the outside. Well, we did a little better than I thought. As you could see, it uh, pushed right through. It came out the hole on its own. So now what we're gonna do is uh, tape on to the uh, back end of this thing, our wire, and pull it through and into the new outlet box. Hey, Puff. So this is the inside outlet, and all we're doing is taking the old wires and hooking them up with the new corresponding wires from the uh, 14, three uh, that we put through the wall so we're going to tuck this back in the outlet and then we'll just attach the switch but the switch won't be operational all right so now we have our new wire set up so it's coming through our box into the other side of the wall so what I'm going to do is just kind of go through and uh, individually strip all these wires and then we will hook it up to the uh, new switch. So we're just gonna go through and quick strip these wires and then we'll set up the outlet for you. And if you haven't gotten one of these uh, vice grip strippers, I'd recommend them, they're awesome. Alright guys, so here's the inside switch. Uh, basically this switch is just a dummy, nothing's hooked up to it. And when we open up the door to the garage, here's our light. So I'll step out here, I'll see if the motion detector just detected me. And we'll take a look at it. There it is, that's what it looks like. And uh, you can see I have the little cap off. So the nice thing about these switches is they're like completely adjustable. So if we look down here, it, there's a little switch, it says off. That would uh, turn off the occupancy sensor. So if that's off, then you'd control the switch manually by uh, pushing the button. Okay, and the, the button's actually here, so you can turn it on and off. Um, I have the cap removed, so that's why it looks a little weird. OCC, that's your occupancy sensor, whether or not you want the thing to work as a sensor or not. So that's what I have it on. And then that uh, VAC, that's uh, vacancy mode. So it's manual on only, and it's automatic off after whatever time that you set for your switch. And then up here, there's the amount of time the switch is on. I have it on test mode, so it'll turn on and off if it doesn't detect movement in 30 seconds. That LED is blinking because I'm moving my head and the camera slightly. It's actually detecting that. Range is how much range the sensor actually uses. So depending if you have a small room or a big room, the sensor is actually up top there. Um, you don't want false alerts by doorways and uh, also like uh, I guess like a heat source could cause a problem so you can adjust the range because it works by motion and also heat. And then uh, the final thing is the amount of light. So I don't really need the uh, switch to come on when it's real nice and bright in the garage. So what I can do is I can turn it so that it will only come on when it's you know partially dark or completely dark in here. So that's kind of nice as well. And finally, uh, there's like a little cap that once you get it adjusted, I didn't adjust it yet, but, uh, and you gotta kinda play around with them a little bit because I have several of these in my house, but this is actually the uh, first three-way three, three -way one. And they also work, you know, with the button like that um, if for some reason it didn't come on. Here's another one that I have set in my house. When I walk into the kitchen, 
There's one back here and you can see it just detected the lights up top over the sink and the counters and these are really nice like when you get up in the morning and it's dark and when you come downstairs it, it automatically turns on the lights for you so I'm coming down the stairs if you could imagine this early in the morning right about here this light sensor will pop on it'll detect me and when that pops on it turns on the light over there and the reason the light's not on right now is because there's too much uh, light in the room so the switch is detecting that it doesn't need to turn the light on all right guys i'm in the basement and basically all the, the lights are controlled in one room and then i have this occupancy sensor right here boom there it goes and it looks like i got a light out but this is a light that kept getting left on, so once again, I put the sensor in, and it's right here on that doorway. All right, guys, double wide six. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Here we are, stepping out into the garage. Boom, light comes on. So it's gonna be nice and convenient. A lot of times we're carrying things in the garage. And it's not so much about the convenience factor, I like the fact that they turn off the lights because people keep leaving the lights on here and a 100 watt light bulb running for one hour costs 10 cents. And now I have that three-way switch hooked up to three different light bulbs. And you know, if, if that's turned off every hour, that's saving me 30 cents. And I guess it'll add up, although I haven't looked at my electric bill and noticed a huge savings. But I know it's got to be saving some money. And uh, on the bottom of this video, I will put a link where you can get some of these switches um, off of Amazon site. So as always, thanks for watching. And uh, have a great, happy new year. Take care.